Genshin Impact's version 1.3 is chock full of events and rewards, but perhaps one of the most anticipated rewards is the free 4 star character that can be acquired in the later stages of the Lantern Rites event. Players will need to do a series of quests to unlock a character from the Stand By Me portion of the Lantern Rites event. Specifically speaking, players would need to clear the glow of a thousand lanterns part of the event to get the 4 star character they wish. Also, players would need to spend 1000 peace talismans which can be acquired by playing the Theater Mechanicus minigame and completing its achievements. If players aren't interested in completing this tower defense like minigame, they can only beat the first two stages and complete their respective achievements to gain 1000 peace talismans to trade for their 4 star character of their choice. Players can choose between the 7 4 star characters hailing from Liu Wei, which are Xiangling, Xinyan, Beidou, Mingguang, Xinqiu, and Chongyun. The food loving daughter of the chef of Liu Wei's Wan Min restaurant can be a great sub DPS, if not a great DPS, for certain players. Her attack speed is nothing to be trifled with, as she can dish out a flurry of strikes within seconds to interrupt enemy attacks. Using her elemental skill drops Goba, a chili-eating raccoon that breathes fire and inflicts fire damage to enemies. Although quite strong, Goba's aim is much to be desired. Xiangling's ult is Pyronado, wherein she twirls her palm arm around the active character for 10 seconds. It's a good way to deal a good amount of damage, plus the pyro elemental reaction for that period. Pairing Pyronado with the likes of Chongyun and his cryo field can be a good way to produce a good amount of melt damage. But, most players can acquire Xiangling after beating Floor 3 and Chamber 3 of the Spiral Abyss. Unlocking her first constellation can reduce enemy pyro resistance by 15%, which synergizes well when the pyro resonance buff is active to boost the attack of all players in the active party. However, Zhang Ling tends to appear quite often in the different gacha banners. At this point, many players already have Zhang Ling unlocked at either Constellation 1 or 2. Perhaps one of the main drawbacks of Zhang Ling is her Constellation kit as it heavily focuses on pyro damage, reducing her utility and flexibility for other team compositions other than pairing her with another pyro character. Zhang Ling can be a great choice from the event especially if you like dealing frequent pyro damage while pummeling enemies to seemingly no end with her pole arm. Enemies hearing the sound of Xinyan's musical instrument are met with fear as this rock and roll musician has the potential to deal insane physical damage attacks. As a Claymore user, each of Xinyan's four strikes can deal massive physical damage with the right build. Also, Xenia's physical damage attribute gains a boost after each ascension after the first, capping out with an additional 24% boost to physical damage at ascension 6. Her elemental skill generates a shield, but requires Xenia to hit an opponent for it to appear. However, ascending her allows Xenia to gain a unique passive skill to reduce the enemy requirement by 1 for the shield and effects to form. Using her elemental burst generates a fiery stage for Xinyan to strut her rock and roll stuff, but its range is quite small and the pyro damage accompanied by the activation of the skill is mediocre at best. Still, the first hit of her ult is physical damage. Again, with the right build, it can allow Xinyan to rack up significant damage during the initial hit. Xinyan can become a main DPS or a sub DPS. If the latter is chosen, she can support the team by generating a shield whenever needed. Plus, since she's a pyro user, players can take advantage of the melt and vaporize elemental reactions for massive damage numbers. If dodging isn't your thing in Genshin Impact, then Beidou might be your first pick for this event. Beidou is the captain of an armed fleet stationed near Liu Wei, and she doesn't fear enemies by taking attacks head on and countering them with extreme force. Beidou is another Claymore user gifted with an electro vision. Perhaps her main gimmick is her elemental skill, which, upon activation, puts her into a defensive stance 
that can mitigate a ton of damage from her enemies. Once hit, Beido releases a strong counter move to the enemies that hit her. Beido's shield generated from her counter move can significantly reduce the damage from various strong attacks from enemies. These include the missiles from the four Ruin Guards at Guyon Forest and Andreas' charging attack. However, Beidou's counter can take some getting used to. Players need to time her counter stance at the right moment, or she will release her attack after some time, causing Beidou to become wide open for enemy attacks. Supplementing her defensive skills is her ult, which gives Beidou an aura that deals constant electro damage to nearby enemies for 15 seconds. Although her ult is quite useful when in a bind, its energy cost is quite high, which may require players to boost Beidou's energy recharge attribute to make the most out of this skill. So, if you like to experience that sweet satisfaction of countering most enemy attacks, consider choosing Beidou for the Standby Me event. Hailed as one of the richest, if not the richest lady in Liue, Ningguang shows no fear in throwing Jiu chunks at her opponents as a Catalyst user. Despite being a 4-star character, Ningguang's damage capabilities put her in league with many of the 5-star characters. Her high damage output for her Jiu attacks can reach 5-digit numbers, especially for her charge attack and skills, and especially with the right talent and artifact build. Ningguang's shield also helps players as it can block many long-range enemy attacks. Also, Unlocking her passives can give her extra damage to Geo attacks, increasing her damage output even further each time she passes through the her jade screen. At Constellation 1, Ningguang might even become a glorified minigun, as each of her normal attacks will now deal AoE damage. However, Ningguang can be a bit of a glass cannon as she shares the lowest base defense stat with another 4-star catalyst user, Lisa. Thankfully. Since Ningguang's alignment is Geo, she can easily create shields with her attacks. With that said, players would need to dash around the area frequently to make sure the shield remains active which requires some stamina bar management. Don't be fooled by Zing Tiu's seemingly frail appearance as this water boy can use the hydro element to hit enemies like a truck. Zing Tiu might lack physical attack damage to become a main DPS but he makes up for that shortcoming by being one of the best supports in the entire game. First, his elemental skill can deal significant damage, especially when paired with Pyro for the Vaporize elemental reaction. The swords also act as a pseudo-shield by reducing a portion of the damage dealt to the active character. The remaining active swords will also heal the active character after they disappear, allowing Xing Chu to become a secondary healer for the party. But Zing Chu tends to shine the best with this ult. Activating it casts multiple transferable blades that attack whenever the active character does a normal attack. Pair this skill with a character with a fast attack speed like Kuching or Official, and watch enemy hit points melt within a few seconds. Zing Chu's constellations also give him a significant buff with each unlock. For instance, Unlocking his first constellation increases the number of swords generated by his ult by 1. Furthermore, unlocking his fourth constellation increases the damage of his elemental skill by 50%. Players who max Zing Chu's constellation will also increase the damage output dealt by his ult with each third attack. Aside from the low raw attack damage output, Zing Chu's other shortcoming is the long cooldowns on his skills. It takes 15 seconds to activate his elemental skill and 20 seconds to activate his ult. Not to mention his ult requires 80 energy to fill up, which is currently the highest energy requirement in the game. Despite these drawbacks, Zing Chu seems to be one of the top picks for many Genshin Impact players thanks to his astounding role as a sub DPS and support. Zing Chiu's best friend and an optimistic exorcist, Chongqian can fit into the roles of DPS and cryo support. His elemental skill creates a cryo field, transforming all normal and charged attacks of sword, claymore, and pole arm wielding characters to cryo. If the player isn't careful, this field can disrupt combos, especially in co-op as some players might not have cryo adept characters. However, 
If paired with the right characters, like Xing Chu and Kaya, this skill can wreak frozen chaos to groups of enemies. Also, Chogyun's ult can deal significant amounts of damage while having low cooldown and energy costs. Players who want to use Chongyun might want to capitalize more on his ult as opposed to his elemental skill. Chongyun's biggest challenge is perhaps the team built around him. If players aren't careful, his elemental skill can disrupt possibilities for elemental reaction combos. Therefore, those who want to use Chongyun's cryo abilities should prepare a specific team built around him. Hopefully, this guide can help you make an informed decision about which 4-star character to pick for the standby B event. However, always remember that you should pick whoever you want. There's no shame in picking a character based on their looks, lore, or their voice, actors, or actresses. At the end of the day, Genshin Impact is a game that should be played for fun, and don't risk ruining that enjoyment over another person's opinion. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.